Hi, welcome to Hope in the Light of Suicide. I didn't get my countdown, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'm Tammy White. I'm the founder. Founder, <laughs> he did say he's sorry. I am the founder and CEO of the Bobby White Foundation. Um, I'm glad you're here with us. Um, <laughs> it gets me all combobul discombobulated at the beginning, um, but again, that's okay. This is what happens. Um, so last week. We were supposed to talk a little bit about um, this uh, national strategy for suicide prevention that the government put out, and we didn't get a chance to do that. Still getting used to the format of the shorter shows, but it's it's better, I think. So we're going to talk about that. Um, but first, we have to talk about some other things. First, we have to... Um, <clears throat> Thank Area 52 Media Group and our producer, John, for giving us this platform um, for our show so that we can bring you information almost every week. And if you're going to be in the Ocala area, June 8th, there's a Bigfoot conference in Ocala. So if you, if you want to, if you want to, be there if you're in the area come you have to google it we had it on the show look at last week's show we had it on last week's show um uh, uh come to the bigfoot conference and you'll get to me my producer and if you're interested in doing a show of your own you can talk to him it would be a really good idea so we're gonna i'm gonna try and and go up there for that trying to get out of my comfort zone doing few different things that I haven't done. Um, I haven't traveled to Ocala in a million years. And um, so I, mean, I think it would be fun to do in a different kind of environment. So that's on June 8th, Saturday. Um, besides that, we got to thank our other sponsor, the Lynn Gaston of the Mortgage Firm. Everything mortgages, anything you want to know. I mean, this is the woman to to see. First time home buyers, refinancing, anything to do with mortgages, getting ready to, uh, if, like I said, first time home buyers, you don't really know what you want to do. You want to get pre-qualified. She can help you with all the steps and make sure that by the time, you know, when you're ready, you have everything all in line. So there won't be any mistakes. Things can go smoothly. You can find the home um, that you're looking for. I myself, we have three family members that are uh, real estate agents, and I have a whole bunch more friends that um, are real estate agents, but this is the girl to use for your mortgages, and you want to get pre-qualified, makes the whole process way, way, way easier. So keep that in mind. So also... What is it? June first, start of summer. So we got three months of really um, some heavy lifting. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Um, for Art for Hopes coming up in September, and we have not only Area Fifty Two Media Group as one of our major sponsors, but um, precision surveying and mapping uh, came through. Well, I, I didn't have time. Came through this afternoon. Um, they're uh, one of our sponsors, I think the Picasso sponsor. Um, fortunately, they've been a sponsor and support um, of the foundation um, since the very beginning. Of course, that's who Bobby worked for um, at the time that he died. Um, he was, even with his MS, he was still serving till the day before he died. Um, but they, um, Thankfully, they've been um, super supportive and supportive every year for Art for Hope and everything that we do. So we're really happy about that. I'll have their logo up uh, next week. It'll be on the website. It'll be on all our Facebook pages anyways when you see this. So, And we'll be thanking them. So if you want to support either both Art for Hope, be a sponsorship, sponsorship for this show, um, and we can get your name out there and thank you and you'll be doing a good thing. Um, it'll help us. It'll help us continue to bring all this information that um, we're trying to trying to do more research and, you know, getting information out to you guys. So that is 
what is it? September 12th. It's the week of National Suicide Prevention Week. So um, National Suicide Prevention Day is September 10th. Yep. September 12th. Seventh annual. I can't believe that. And we want to thank the Hilton Garden Inn. They're always super great hosts. Um, I love having it out there. And in the Tampa Bay area, um, if you're not familiar where this is, most people would be at uh, the Suncoast and 54. It's really easy to get to from all of our surrounding counties in the Tampa Bay area, from Pasco, Pinellas, Hillsboro. I think Polk, Polk might be a little bit harder, but um, just the major roads to the Sun Coast, and you're right there. So looking forward to that. It was great last year. It's going to be even better this year. Um, we have some uh, some new um, new friends. Uh, that will um, be some of our speakers. And of course, there's going to be a lot of artwork. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, gift baskets. That's one thing we raffle off gift baskets, and we always end up with just the most awesome gift baskets. So, yeah. So, that's what most of the summer is going to be taken care of. But then also during the summer, because we just started our um, support group so our next support group meeting is june 13th and we have it at the gulfie square mall event center side um uh, suite 7 11 a um it's a peer-to-peer -peer support group it is the survivor support group I'm one of the facilitators, my friend, um, Teresa Daniels, um, who lost her, um, uh, her son who was almost 18 years old. I think this year was 10 years. Um, she's our, she's my co-facilitator. So, um, we had our first meeting. It was great. Um, people are looking forward, forward to this and we're looking forward to having it. We've got the dates throughout the rest of the year. Um, if you have any questions about it, just either email me or call me, um, and we can help you out. I did get a phone call from Pinellas County last week, but um, um, hopefully they'll make it. Sometime it's a little bit of a truck, but I I did let her know of a couple other down uh, closer to to her area, but there are very few. Uh, at, well, there's only two. In Pinellas County, ours is the only one in Pasco. Um, we're still working on getting the East Pasco and Hernando County one going, but we'll get them. We'll get them going. So let's get, let me see, make sure that I'm trying to stay on track a little bit. So it's been kind of a rough week for me, and I don't know why, but just sometimes, you know, it just, it just happens, and the feelings just get there so um but this morning i felt a lot better and then it started waning again and that it was like <sighs> doing this this stuff and bringing you guys this information does does help um i did i'm in the process of um, doing a training a grief movement training and it's with um with your breath and movement and I haven't been able to do the live trainings the last few weeks because I've I need two of me, but um, I canceled one of my business meetings earlier today so that I I wanted to make sure that I was at that um, grief movement training today because it 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 is very helpful and and when I get done with the training it's something that we want to bring um, part of it you know, a few things, um, to our support groups, um, to, you know, for part of our healing arsenal or one of our tools in our toolbox. So, um, and then I wanted to, to get into a little bit further with this, um, this strategy for suicide prevention that the government put out. Now, this right on april 23rd um there was a press release from the um biden and harris administration um for this 
strategy for suicide prevention and the first ever um, action plan. Um, the press release is quite lengthy. And I even, I mean, it's, there's a lot of links in here, um, but there's a lot of information. So the page that has, uh, let's see, the, um, I can go back here, probably. So I mentioned some of this um, a few weeks ago. So their action plan, let's see, here we go, yes. Trying to get a little bit better at learning how to control all this stuff. Uh, okay, updated federal action plan. Wow, that's not getting me where I want it. Okay, so this is it. The national strategy is accompanied by the first ever federal action plan, which identifies more than 200 actions across the federal government to be taken over the next three years in support of their goals. And, you know, sometimes I get so frustrated with this because there, there's organizations, and, and it, it's not of... It's, it's just the way that I guess our society is. And it's not just, just us, because this is an issue all around the world. When we separate, separated, or I guess our mental health plan years ago wasn't all that great, and everybody was institutionalized. But then they got rid of all that stuff, and there has been nothing about your, our mental health and our physical health has always been separate. And the mental health part of it has always been taboo. Well, you can't really have great physical health if you don't have good mental health either. So that's one thing that's, that frustrates me because of, I guess, now living this experience, uh, living this journey. So it's good to see that uh, Hopefully, there hasn't been changes. The, the suicide rate has not dropped one year in the 30 years that data has been collected and we've had these national organizations for suicide prevention. It has always been a steady uphill every year, more and more. Um, in 2022, I said, over 49,000 people in the United States alone took their lives. I know here in Pasco County because I'm I'm and this is this is one thing that I that I think is good with with this new um, strategy is and the federal action plan is because I'm a member of three, at least three organizations, it's more than that, because there's other things within each one, um, in Hillsborough County, Pinellas County, and Pasco County. So we've got clinicians, not so much government agencies. Um, the Sheriff's Department is involved, so I guess that would be considered one. Um, and then there's a few, very few people like me. Um, that do what we do. Um, we come from the lived experience side. It's not our job. Um, we're not part of the government. Um, what do they call, they call us something? What do they call us? I don't know what they call us, but anyways, we're not government. We're not, I don't know, agencies, but anyways, but we're part of, uh, we're part of the plan because this is something that not a one of us obviously is going to tackle. It takes, you know, like the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes all of us to wrap our head around all this stuff that's going on because nothing has worked in the past 
So they have like four strategic directions. And okay, 200. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Evaluating promising community based suicide prevention strategies. This is part of the federal action plan. Identifying ways to address substance use, overdose, and suicide risk to together in the clinical setting. Funding a mobile crisis locator for use by 988 crisis centers. Increasing support for survivors of suicide loss and others whose lives may have been impacted by suicide. So here in Pasco County, and you know, all around, okay, we have 911. We do have, uh, through the Sheriff's Department, now a mental health unit and a, a mobile crisis unit, which is really great. Um, we have the clinicians. We, we ended up losing one of our mental health intake facilities, but we're getting a new one back. So um, that's really, really good because uh, we have a huge, huge county, and the loss of that one facility um, here in West Pasco was not a good thing at all. So we, one of the organizations, uh, one of the hospitals, it, it, they're getting that plan to um, give us another facility. Um, that will intake patients in, in crisis. And then, and then we need facilities or organizations, um, clinicians, you know, um, for the aftercare. That's one of the, one thing too, that really falls through the cracks here is if, if a person is in crisis, is taken care of initially, is released, and there's no aftercare, the chance of a suicide increases dramatically within the first two weeks of their release. So it is a whole, whole, it has to be a whole, whole community effort um, to save people's lives. And it, I mean, it's a lot, but it's good. So. It's basically community-based action plan. So it takes all of us. And this is one thing with our foundation that I have stressed from the very beginning that it's gonna take all of us. We were, we were, have like been, had our foot in all this since the, the inception of the foundation. We, I'm the only one that comes to the table that's not, and that, that may have changed, but mostly everybody, it's, you know, it's part of their job. They may have lived experiences too, but it's their job. I come to the table just period, just from the lived experience side. I don't have the, the book education and, you know, I, I, don't get paid to do this. Um, it's not my job. Kind of it is now, but <laughs> um, so we've always said it. it's going to take all of us. It's going to take organizations like mine. It's going to take the healthcare community, the mental health community, um, law enforcement, our government, um, helping us with, you know, some of these agencies getting funded. Heck, us getting funded. Um, so that we have the care and people know they don't have to go through this you know by themselves there's help out there but when people when somebody is in crisis that's not where their brain goes so we need to educate the public too as to what to look for and you know we've put on um the our first uh, mental health first aid class we're still waiting to get the date for the second one which hopefully will be in june or july so the first st 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 da -da -da, strategic direction is um, the community-based prevention. Um, 
part of their goals. There's like seven of them here. Establish effective broad-based collaboration and sustainable suicide prevention partnerships. Conduct postvention and support people with suicide-centered lived experiences. Um, and they also, treatment, uh, strategic direction number two is um, provide quality and accessibility of crisis care services across all communities. And that means um, the hard to get communities, the underserved communities, that's a huge, huge problem. There's a lot there, even um, our tribal communities. Um, that's, it's huge. Strategic direction number three, and surveillance quality improvement and research. To promote and support research on suicide prevention, uh, improve quality timelines, useful and accessibility of data needed for suicide related surveillance research. And that's one thing too, that is really, really hard. You know, we wait a minimum usually of two years before we have the data as to how many people um, have either taken their lives in the United States or within our communities. It shouldn't take that long. I get some of the data that I receive um, through um, the organizations that the foundation is partners with. I get, we get um, the data from uh, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, usually once a month. Okay, so just in Pasco County alone, since the beginning of the year, we've averaged four suicides a month. That's one a week. There are months that has been more. There hasn't been months that have been less. less. But that is just data from Pasco County Sheriff's Department. We also have Newport Ritchie Police Department, Port Ritchie Police Department, Dade City Police Department. They don't report the same as Pasco County Sheriff. So some of that gets off to the wayside. So our reporting really needs to be more efficient if, you know, this is going to work. The other, the last one, direction number four, is health equity in suicide prevention. Let's see. Create equitable and diverse suicide prevention workforce that is equipped and supported to address the needs of the communities they serve. So I am going to be putting some links um, on the Facebook page. Yeah, see there's that toolkit down there? Um, there's on that that toolkit since we're there there they have included um kind of like uh press releases for the smaller organizations through uh it's already made out all you got to do is copy and paste insert your organization in there they have the logos and everything um they have the national strategy launch which was april 23rd to the 28th they have um, the information for um, the federal partners with the federal action plan. Then their um, connect, care, connect, and collaborate. And key areas of focus. And these are, they have, it's all ready for us um, to start putting out on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Um, Comprehension approach, prevention, intervention, evaluation, research, public and private partners. So that would be, you know, people like us. So these are going to start to go out um, on our social media along with other prevention ways. But I really thought that, and I, and I, when I first saw this, I really didn't realize that th this was a three year plan that um, the federal government has, has put out. So, you know, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this. I am, I promise. So, yeah. 
that's good. So there's gonna there's a lot more information, and I'll uh, I'll bring little bits and pieces um, every show, so it's a little bit more um, palatable. I forgot too, you know, part of the show uh, when we have Art for Hope, I have a whole bunch of prints from uh, Mark Keithley that'll be there um, available. Um, really, really cool. Um, really great artist. Real good. So, yeah, there's a lot going on in it, but it, but it's all good. So my quote for today begins the beginning of summer, rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine. You will. And um, make sure you put these lifelines in your phone. Be sure you always have them. Um, you never know when you're going to gonna need them. Whenever I'm speaking anywhere, I have people take out their phones and make sure that the numbers are available. They have the numbers available. And uh, sometimes it doesn't even matter if it's a, just a 30 second commercial and I, or I get five minutes to talk to somebody. Put these numbers in your phone. And please remember for yourself and everybody else, there is always hope. Thank you so much. Thank you.